Hi everyone, I hope you're good guy and welcome to a new video. So today I'm gonna talk about my raw kick rack. Uh, it's a rack I created to kind of create this kind of uh, kick you can listen here. You know, you can get some, some deep mode, more classic kind of 808 kick. So today I'm not gonna go too much in detail about how to create a kick because this I already covered in one video and there was plenty of information about that. I'm just gonna show you how I made the rack. Yeah, this rack basically I've been heavily inspired by uh, this little machine here, which is the Vermona Kick Lancé. And I tried to follow all of to get the same parameter that which is on this little machine and to put them into uh, Ableton rack. Obviously I've made some modification. I've kind of appropriated myself a little bit. There is stuff I removed. I didn't like it. There is things I changed. So if you check in Inside, you just have like operator and drum burst, then after it's just a limiter and, and uh, for the output and utility to get in mono. That's the two main things and operator. So I use operator and you can see the algorithm in this way. And it's divided in three oscillator. You have the oscillator B, which is gonna be the body. Obviously, you know your waveform, which is modulated by uh, a pitch envelope, which creates the punch of the kick. Then you have oscillator E, which is gonna be like a kind of a clicky sound, which is nice for having a bit of transient this clicky at the beginning of the kick and then you have oscillator c and g and this is kind of to create uh, fm transient so this shout out to zen world because i've seen in this video he used actually fm as a transient for the kick and it's actually pretty nice especially when later on you apply some effects such as distortion or even like the saturator you can like really get nasty things out of it so that's the three main element of the kick and then after you have i apply as well a filter so you can find this section here in white uh, so this is really great if you want like some kind of deep dark kick you can kind of low pass the filter and obviously i've applied a strong envelope so with a sharp decay so it will straight away open basically but can be great to kind of you see here i've used it and in conjunction with the resonance it sounds better than if it was just like this it's a great way to accentuate Depend as well if you use F FM as well or depend of your kick obviously, but it can really like kind of uh, create nice tone and in, on top of that you can change the filter type as well. So then the other filter have kind of drive. So according to what is your filter, it's gonna change as well the drive how it reacts. So so this is the classic, but and then you can play with the drive here. Yeah, that's really nice to add character and I'm gonna leave it open for now and then I'm told you have your classic pitch envelope here which uh, you can see here control the basically the bend and the time so here we come to our body section basically where you're gonna choose the decays basically the length the pitch is the pitch of the kick so here you can see it's our oscillator with the body and you can see i put it in fixed mode this way i can here pick up the frequency i want so i recommend as well to use maybe a spectrum and the tuner so this way you can really easily pitch your kick drum and then you have bend and time which is basically the pitch envelope that you can control the, basically the bend is like how deep you want the modulation and time is how fast you want the modulation and basically by playing with the two you kind of create as well the body of the kick so usually it's yeah that's a nice round kick Then I don't really have advice, just experiment with the bend and the time together. I would recommend to set up the pitch to the kick like you want, like for example, if you want your kick in F and then after play with the bend and time and the GK. So then here you have the attack, which is basically a click. So if I remove all of the oscillator, you're gonna hear what it is. It's just this little click that you can remove. If you check here, it's like, it's just a sine wave with a very sharp GK you see and no release, it's like a very click sound is just very sharp but it's really helped the kick cut through the mix and add as well a bit of transient so that's really up to you how you want to do how much you want to add and then you have all of the fm section so like i said this is like fm transient so that's why i call it fm click so this is the amount of the fm click 
you want and then after you can just play but that can be nice to add Tone. And this after, when you as well, when you add some effect, you can really hear it even more because it kind of ends this uh, subtle transient. But yeah, basically here it's you control the oscillator C level is basically the FM click amount. And then you have the dig which is modulating the oscillator C, and you can control the frequency here and the level. So that's your parameter here. Then you got your waveform. Basically, you choose just the waveform of your body, so it's oscillator B. So for example, here it's going to be useful to use the filter because for example, if you have like, let's say, uh, let's use maybe a square, but then you can filter and you get something which is different tone than your sine wave. Then you have drive. So drive, it's basically controlling two things. You have the drive from the filter, but you have as well your drum bus here. So here I've had the drum bus because of obviously operator just by itself was kind of sounding weak. And um, it's, this is kind of processing it, but without too much processing it. Keep in mind that drum bus will, even with the drive rate at 0% at and it will always add a color. So if you don't like it, just remove it. But I, I think it's fine. You can. And I will always recommend to add a bit of drive. So I put it in hard mode because it's kind of adding low frequency and you have compression. And then after you have crunch, which kind of gonna add a bit of top high, top hand and mid. Boom, which is gonna add some extra low frequency. And basically what I've done here, is the GK, it's following as well the GK of your original kick. So this way you don't have like, for example, you could have with operator a short GK, but then you don't have control on the GK of your drum bus on the boom on the drum bus. So it's mapped this way, it kind of follow, they are both following the same GK. And I've done the same with the frequency. Basically here you can see 43.9 and here is as well 49.3. And if I move, it's following the frequency. So this way you can see like, you can actually check which is the key of your kick actually without having a spectrum. You can basically just check here. And uh, one thing I didn't mention you can do, for example, you can apply a LFO. So I've already preset it with the rate one and the so down. So this way you just can control the amount and set how much you want out of it, but I've deactivated. You can, the pitch envelope basically it's here affecting as well uh, your FM transient. So you can decide to deactivate, deactivate this to just have it modulating uh, your source, your source here. And then you can module your high left all, but yeah, it's really up to you. So then after you can obviously add some effect. Here I have this Embase rack. It's effect rack I've made just for the Embase. Uh, it's a review from a hardware device I've made. The rack is available for free in the link of the video description as usual. It's just with Ableton as well. But it can be great. Then after one thing I like to do with Kick, for example, I will add an effect chain like any kind of weird effect chain. And then after I will start to shape my kick, but knowing that I have this effect chain after. So this way it will kind of push you to tweak your rack and your sound in the way that you probably didn't thought before, because obviously this is gonna react differently with an effect than without an effect. So that's a great technique I like to do. And then after you can just add some rumble. Oh. Yeah. And then after, I don't know, maybe in the... In the context of a track. But 
Yeah. Uh, by the way, this is I've just released a new sample pack uh, which is called uh, Raw Techno Sample, and it's all of this kind of vibe, this kind of kick as well, this kind of of rumble and uh, this kind of kick and all of this kind of vibe and all of the loop come in a wet and raw version so you have the raw without effect but you have the same loop with some effects so either you want something ready to use or if you want something like you want to make your own you can do both way and it's the same with the scent loop you have everything the same and you can yeah really choose and do the things the way you want i'll put it in the description away if you want to grab it and yeah that's it for today i guess because i show you more or less everything so the rack is available as well with live 10 if you have live 10 because obviously it's operator in jumbus I, I will make it available just you won't have like all the presets you can save here i hope you like this video guys thank you very much for watching and see you soon guys bye bye